Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here, back with another adventure. Today we're located at Francis Slocum State Park here in Kingston, Pennsylvania, and I uh, wanted to bring you guys out and check out this beautiful state park behind me. We have the frozen lakes behind, gorgeous 30 degree temperatures out here. And I wanted to get out here today and show you guys one of the most popular trails up here, which would be called the Larch Trail. And it's a 1.3 mile loop starts right here at this access road behind me so what we're going to do is turn this around and we're going to get this journey started like i said 1.3 miles not too bad for today but i have a few other trails i want to check out up here so with that being said let's turn this around and get this journey started guys again thanks for uh following me on all these little adventures and i hope you guys will enjoy this one just as much so let's do this guys thanks again for joining me so here we are guys Francis Slocum State Park, just located by the lake here, that beautiful blue sky, and gorgeous clouds. So we're going to be making our way through the snow, up this old little access route, and we're going to be making our way through this one mile loop through these beautiful large forests here. And again, this is one of the main features of the trail. Just how beautiful and old and straight and narrow these trees are that we'll be seeing today. Wanted to get out and uh, finally get some hiking in today. Haven't been out in a few days. Haven't put out a video in a while. I'll explain that a little bit later. But again, just look how beautiful the forest looks here. A little bit of snow on the ground. And we'll be making our way right around this beautiful loop. Well, I was just coming up trail a little bit further and you can see all these stone walls that are tucked in along the way and that there's one right behind it and this one runs all the way down. Pretty interesting find here. Always like seeing some nice stone foundations out on the trail. But we're making our way further and it looks like we're gonna head a little bit to the right and gain a little bit of elevation on this one. Snow's all packed down so it's a little bit slippery. I don't have any micro spikes on or anything like that. So we're just gonna have to make do for today, but Again, just take a look how beautiful this sky is. It's that North Carolina blue. Absolutely incredible day for a hike. Well, as we're Continuing our climb uphill, just thought I should explain what's going on here now for the springtime. I've been pretty busy these last few days with work. I just put my notice in, asked for a demotion so I could have a free full month of March off not have any big responsibilities at work to worry about while I'm prepping for the trail. And it's another thing that's been taking a considerable amount of time away is how much time I'm spending researching, buying 
this gear to get ready for the Appalachian Trail. It's tons of hours and uh, lots of money and it's gonna be all worth it for you guys and myself. Again, it's a big, big, big journey. And I just made my last purchase yesterday, which were my trekking poles. So we're all set to go, guys. April 5th can't come soon enough. But that's uh, just a little reason why I haven't been posting too, too much lately. So again, I always appreciate you guys coming by, watching the videos and supporting me. It's awesome. And like I said, this AT trip is gonna be a payback for you guys. So we're gonna enjoy some beautiful states together and some awesome sceneries and some good times and some bad. So, well, making our way up trail and well, you could smell all that beautiful pine. Wow, look at these trees, guys, from this large forest and wow. This is impressive. Just check these trees out, guys. Wow. This is just the beginning coming up of the trail through the large section of large trees. And wow, guys, as we're coming up this little trail, Just blown away by these massive trees. Wow. Pretty gorgeous to see in person. I've only seen a few pictures online and on Instagram, but wow. Let's just spin it around and give you a nice beautiful view of this forest. So this is the main attraction on this trail, guys. Just spectacular. That's where we came through and entered into this beautiful forest. Wow. So beautiful. All well blazed too. You can see the yellow markers on the trees. Yeah, just a Wow, an incredible sight. Again, the colors are beautiful. I hope my uh, camera's picking them all up for you. The blues, the greens, contrasted with the snow. This is just incredible. You can see how they're all lined up it's perfect. There's a whole line of trees. Whole line of trees, straight paths, right down. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, guys, talk about impressive. Just check out these, these large trees. You can see just how beautiful all these rows are as they're coming down. Looks so cool. Can't wait to get some beautiful pictures of this and post them online and yeah this is awesome <laughs> so happy I uh, came out here today again it's pretty chilly out here we're in the 30s wind slight breeze but I am wearing my new jacket today I got this here down jacket absolutely love it made by decathlon very, very warm, lightweight, packable. Definitely do a review on it. I'm just wearing a simple base layer underneath it, very thin. And just this coat and absolutely steaming in it. I have a hood too. You can throw on if need it. Again, perfect pickup. This year, another item I'm going to have on the trail with me. But enough of me yapping, let's turn around and just give you beautiful views of this awesome forest.
just an absolute magical section of trail guys again i don't know if my camera's doing any justice but it is just so so pristine out here i mean i just can't get over these trees in this forest here awesome i have a little bit more information about the uh park here again we're at francis slocum state park and it's 1035 acres which uh, includes 165 acre man-made lake it's actually shaped as a giant horseshoe which you could kayak and fish from wanted to make my way up here before winter hit but wasn't able to do that and another awesome interesting piece of information is who the park is named after and it's after a, a girl francis slocum who was actually kidnapped by the lenape indians up in this area i believe on abraham creek they took her to a rock outcropping where she actually fled and was recaptured and ended up spending her whole life with the Native Americans, so it's a pretty cool story. And then even after 59 years, her brothers found her and she continued to stay with the Native Americans, so she found her home here. So I'm glad you guys are out here today with me just checking out these sites and straight ahead. It's where we, it's where we came from. So I had two others on the trail today as I was finding the correct path. But again, everything is beautifully blazed. I would absolutely suggest anybody coming out here Check these trails out. And again, it's a nice 1.3 mile loop. And we're gonna be hitting another incline straight ahead. So we're gonna make our way up that hill. And if we come across anything interesting, I'll definitely make sure to bring you back. So we just hiked up that very snowy and it's compact too so makes it harder to walk up there without spikes but we just passed uh, another blaze and again continuing down trail passing the larches out and just entering another section with beautiful pine can't beat a beautiful winter hike guys you really can't just another beautiful shot here looking out at the sun again winds picking up and getting a little chilly up on the mountain here but Having the right equipment, good base layers, and again, this puffy jacket is absolutely a lifesaver. Definitely one of my favorite purchases. Super lightweight. Could honestly fold up the size of literally a, a cantaloupe. Fits right in your backpack. Well, guys, I don't know if you could hear or not, but the wind has picked up quite significantly on the trail feels good ripping around and yeah absolutely loving loving it out here I want to check out the lakeside trail next which hopefully I'll get up in recording today after this 
Maybe I'll have lunch in between trails. Fuel up for the next adventure, right? <laughs> Again, everything all well blazed here. You can see it's quite well traveled as well. Got a lot of hikers up in this area just enjoying their time off and enjoying nature. So it's great to see people out here using the trail systems and not a scrap of trash on the ground so far. Excellent. Well, we just picked up some elevation and looking over the lands below. I just think how, how beautiful this would be in the springtime with a fresh bloom. Yeah, that would look absolutely incredible. Just came down this little hill area and we're making our final descent out of the large tree trail. As you can see, we've been out here for a little bit of time. Sun coming down below us. And again, I guess if you're coming out here now with the snow, a little pair of spikes would definitely be handy. You could see all the, all the ice down here. Very slick in some spots, but all in all, not too, too bad. But again, you could see the lake straight ahead and that's where we began the adventure for today. Again, Francis Slocum State Park, large tree trail, absolutely spectacular. Well, we're finally out of the trail area. The lake is right on the side of me, as you could probably see coming down the trail. And again, guys, that was a beautiful short hike. Not too long. A lot of beautiful things to see. Again, that little section of large trees, absolutely incredible. That's worth the visit alone. And I'll show you just uh, where we are behind me. Right behind is right there is where we start it. And again, here's the lake looking right out behind us. Beautiful, beautiful area. Definitely recommend if you're in the Wilkes-Barre area, Kingston area, come check out this, uh, come check out the state park. Pennsylvania has so many beautiful areas and parks to come and see and this is just another one on the list to definitely check out so I want to say thank you so much for coming out on this adventure with me today and hope you guys enjoyed it the large trees as much as I did it's getting a little chilly down here lakeside so we're gonna get the hood up and we make our way to the next trail but guys we're almost at 1500 subs I want to thank you guys so much you guys mean a lot to me and uh, get me out here doing all these awesome adventures and again, tackling the trail. Can't wait to bring you guys to Katahdin with me. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So again, thanks for all you guys do for me. I appreciate it so much. And as always, this is Mike. Till the next one, guys. Take it easy.